I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, how should I start out these videos? Should I do a what's up, everybody? Or maybe a hey, guys, this is Job with the Cloud Lake Crew. Or I don't know. Hey, guys, what's up? Or hey, what's up? This is Job with the Cloud Lake Crew. Comment down below and tell me how should I start this video. Uh, by the way, how do you get rid of an ant pile with chewing tobacco? You sprinkle chewing tobacco all around the ant pile and the walkers bring it to the queen and when the queen comes out to spit, you stomp her. You just witnessed the first mowing of 2018. Well, the first quarter of a mowing because actually I have an acre and a half and it would have taken way too long to vlog all of it. But that's not the only reason that this video is exciting. The other reason is this, the new Canon EOS M50. The reason why I got this camera is because there is actually not another camera within this price point that has the specs that this, this thing has. The closest thing to it is the SL2, but the SL2 still lacks an EVF, does not have 4K or 720p. So let's give you a little backstory of my progression in cameras. First, I got a GoPro. Didn't really like it, never got good results out of it. So I switched to a D3300. I loved that camera. It gave me excellent image, and I shot a lot of videos with that and produced good results, but it had some problems. And then I got this camera, the Canon EOS M. I've actually done a video on this one, and the reason I got it was because it was cheap. I got it and two lenses for $300, a great deal. They were two Canon mount EFM lenses, the 22 millimeter and the 18 to 55 millimeter. I love that camera so much that I stopped using my D3300 for anything. The Canon was smaller, easier to carry around in a bag, uh, it gave a good result still, and it had autofocus that I could use somewhat. And after having that taste of the EOS M, I thought, well, I want to get a better camera, basically a better version of this. So that's where this camera came in. It's the EOS M3. I sold my D3300 because I just wasn't using it, and I got this camera. And this camera has been a really good camera for me. But the autofocus just wasn't, wasn't good enough for me. So in came the EOS M50. Canon's latest and greatest in their mirrorless lineup. And this camera I think is going to be the best camera within its price range. I have not had it that long so this is not actually a review. This is just sort of my first impressions and why I think you guys should look into the Canon EOS M50. Now I think there's a lot of misconceptions about this camera. This camera is not meant to replace 4K shooters like the A6300 or the G85. If you want a 4K shooter, this is not the camera for you. This is for people who want to stick with 1080 but then play around with some 4k this to me is like an a6300 with a flip out screen that doesn't overheat this is like a g85 that has less cropped 1080 and better autofocus and it's like a 5d mark 4 in a tiny little package this camera is not going to replace your g85 this camera is not going to replace the a6300 what this camera will do give you is good quality 1080p excellent autofocus, a mic jack, a flip screen, an EVF, and it's the only camera that does 
all of those things. If you have any thoughts on this camera, leave it down below. Tell me what you think. And if I'm wrong that there is another camera with a flip out screen, EVF, dual pixel autofocus, mic jack, let me know. Now this isn't the review. This is just sort of a first impressions video telling you that you might wanna look into this camera and see if it would be good for any type of video that you're doing. But I am gonna be doing a review, so hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you know when I am. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Remember to like this video and share with anyone that you think might benefit from it, and I guess I'll see you in the next video.